this year 2023, Mbara University of Science and Technology is joining the rest of the world like we have done previously to participate in the activity that commemorates the 16 days of activism which address preventing of gender-based violence against women and girls. The university adds its voice to that of the international community in ensuring that this fundamental human right is observed. We are aware that the 16 days of activism starting in the 25th November starts with the International Day uh, of Preventing gender-based violence and concluding on the 10th of December with the International Human Rights Day. As a university, we participate in these activities because it is a noble cause and it is one of the areas where we can make our modest contribution. In line with this year's global theme, uh, investing in preventing gender-based violence against women and, uh, and girls, uh, the university will tap on its own available resources. And one of the available sources that the university has is the human resource. We have quite a population of students and members of staff uh, who are key in awareness raising and educating the communities on the ills and the dangers of gender-based violence. Here, the university has an advantage that Mbara University can have a very big multiplier effect if the message begins here. One, we have a highly transient population. Our students come and stay for a given period and then they leave to join other parts of society and the world, usually after graduating. The fact that we always receive students coming in and leaving means that we have that benefit of reaching out to an increasingly bigger number every year. And therefore, if the message goes through that population, the belief is that wherever they go, they will be a gender literate community that is going to educate the rest of the community members on the dangers and the ills associated with gender-based violence. That is one of the biggest resources we have because our members cut across the whole country. That notwithstanding, we also have members of staff and students from within the region outside Uganda. These also will pick the message and relay it when they go back to their home areas and this will therefore spread the message far and wide. So really our biggest contribution to this campaign will be in awareness raising because that's where we have our biggest strength. We have the population, we have the convening power, we have got the communication channels and therefore this is what we do and what we can do best during these 16 days of activism. Uh, we do appreciate the global concern and equally the global strategy of empowering women and girls. And education is one way of empowering women and girls, keep them in school longer. And the beauty about Mbara University of Science and Technology is that our completion rates are still very high. The students who enroll at Mbara University, we are sure a very high percentage will eventually uh, complete. And therefore, the women and girls who enroll 
we will have that benefit of empowerment through education. We definitely have also a very supportive population uh, of male support, uh, which is very crucial because the abusers, the perpetrators of gender-based violence against women, uh, virtually the men and the boys. And therefore, we have a very big population of male allies who support the cause as well. But on top of that, the university has got a policy framework which feeds within the overall national and international legal framework that emphasizes judiciousness whenever cases or suspected cases of violence are identified and reported. And the student community itself has definitely been very, I won't say supportive, but they don't have any gender preconceived stereotypes. We have had female guild presidents elected under adult suffrage across the whole university, which shows clearly that at a university level, at the level of the students, there is no gender discrimination. Society respects humanity as is. Society at the university believes in merit. And whenever women and girls have warranted their merit, they have been given the opportunity to lead, the opportunity to participate in decision making, and definitely that fits within the current annual theme, and it also underpins the university's commitment to make sure that gender-based violence against women and children is effectively addressed. Thank you.